the Gospel of Hebrews from the Complete Gospels by Robert J. Miller, Editor, The Gospel of Hebrews 1. Paraphrase by Cyril of Jerusalem, 4th century, Discourse on Mary, the Mother of God. It is written in the Gospel of Hebrews that, 1. When Christ wanted to come to earth, the good Father summoned a mighty power in the heavens who was called Michael and entrusted Christ to his care. 2. The power came down into the world, and it was called Mary, and Christ was in her womb for seven months. 3. She gave birth to him, and he grew up, and he chose the apostles who preached him everywhere. 4. He fulfilled the appointed time that was decreed for him. 5. The Jews grew envious of him and came to hate him. They changed the custom of their law, and they rose up against him and laid a trap and caught him. 6. They turned him over to the governor, who gave him back to them to crucify. 7. And after they had raised him on the cross, the Father took him up into heaven to himself. 2. 1. Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 1. L. Quoted by Jerome, 4th, 5th century, against the Pelagians. 3. In the Gospel of the Hebrews, the following story is told. The mother of the Lord and his brothers said to him, John the Baptist, baptized for the forgiveness of sins. Let's go and get baptized by him. 1. 1. 2. According to the Gospel of the Hebrews, both Christ and his mother existed in heaven before coming to earth. Apparently, Michael, in the name of a mighty power in the heavens that came to earth in the form of Mary, and G. Hebrews 4. Michael, Mary, is identified with the Holy Spirit. 1. 2. In her womb for seven months, according to some Jewish, Greek, and Roman traditions, a number of ancient heroes were born after only seven months. Among them were Isaac, Moses, Samuel, Dionysius, Apollo, and Julius Caesar. 1. 3. The Coptic for he grew up may reflect the Greek of Luke 2, 5, 2. 1. 6. They turned him over to the governor may reflect the wording from Matthew 27, 2. He gave him back to them to crucify, recalls John 19, verse 16, and makes the Jews, rather than the Romans, responsible for the killing of Jesus. 2. It cannot be determined with certainty whether this fragment belongs to the Gospel of the Nazareans or to the Gospel of the Hebrews. Jerome mistakenly believes that all of his quotations originate from one Jewish Christian Gospel, which in some cases makes it difficult to distinguish fragments of the Gospel of the Hebrews from those of the Nazareans. 2. But he said to them, how have I sinned? So why should I go and get baptized by him? Only if I don't know what I'm talking about. 3. Quoted by Jerome. Commentary on Isaiah 4. Commenting on Isaiah 11, verse 2. In the Hebrew Gospel that the Nazareans read, it says, The whole fountain of the Holy Spirit comes down on him. For the Lord is the Spirit, 
and where the Spirit is, there is freedom. Later on, in the same Gospel, we find the following. 2. And it happened that when the Lord came up out of the water, the whole fountain of the Holy Spirit came down on him and rested on him. 3. It said to him, My son, I was waiting for you in all the prophets, waiting for you to come so I, re I could rest in you. 4. For you are my rest. You are my first begotten Son, who rules forever. 4a. Quoted and explained by Origen. 3rd century. Commentary on John 2. Those who give credence to the Gospel of the Hebrews, in which the Savior says, Just now my mother, the Holy Spirit, took me by one of my hairs, and brought me to Tabor, the great mountain. 2. Verse 2. Jesus' statements do not mean that he refused baptism. If they did, Jerome would have mentioned that this gospel lacked a baptism scene. The purpose of this passage is to avoid any implication that Jesus got baptized for forgiveness of sins. Matthew also addresses this problem, though in a different way. This fragment also seems to assume that Jesus' family was baptized along with him. Matthew 3, verse 13 to 18. 3. In this version of the baptism scene, the voice is that of the Holy Spirit, not of God as it rests on the gospel tradition, contrary to Gebi 4. Jesus' baptism here does not transform his status. He already was the divine Son of the Spirit. 3. Verse 3. I was waiting for you and all the prophets. Wisdom is similarly described in Wisdom 7.27. In every generation she enters holy souls and makes them prophets and friends of God. So I could rest. The Holy Spirit speaks like divine wisdom. I have acquired something among every people and nation. Among all of them I sought rest. I sought to make my home in someone's land. Sir 24, verse 6 through 7. 4. This seems to be an excerpt from a unique version of the story of Jesus' temptation with the Holy Spirit taking Jesus up to the mountain, a role played by the devil in Matthew 4, verse 8. The event is here reported by Jesus himself, which may be in the way the Gospel of the Hebrews explains how this private event came to be known publicly. As in G. Hebrew 1, Gospel of Hebrew 1. The Holy Spirit is understood to be Jesus' mother. G, Heb, 4, C, D, and E attribute this unusual concept to the gender of the Hebrew word for spirit. In Sectius 5, verse 6, Jesus calls himself a son of the Holy Spirit. Thomas 101 may be referring to the Holy Spirit when Jesus says, my true mother gave me life. Gospel of the Hebrews 4a through 4e have to face the problem of explaining how it is possible for the mother of Christ to be the Holy Spirit, which came into existence through the Logos. But those things do not are not difficult to explain. For if whoever does the will of the Heavenly Father is his brother, and sister, and mother, and if the name brother of Christ applies not only to humans, but also to beings of a more divine rank, there is nothing absurd in the Holy Spirit being his mother, when anyone who does the will of the Heavenly Father is called mother of Christ. 4. B. Quoted by Origen homily on the Jeremiah, 
I-S. If someone can accept this, just now, my mother, the Holy Spirit, took me by one of my hairs and brought me to Tabor, the great mountain. One can see that she is his mother. See quoted and explained by Jerome commentary on Micah 2, commenting on Micah 7, verse 6. Whoever has read the Song of Songs will understand that the Word of God is also the bridegroom of the soul. And whoever gives credence to the gospel circulating under the title Gospel of the Hebrews, which we recently translated, in which it is said by the Savior himself, Just now, my mother, the Holy Spirit, took me by one of my hairs, will not hesitate to say that the Word of God proceeds from the Spirit, and that the soul, which is the bride of the Word, has the Holy Spirit which in Hebrew is feminine in gender, ruah, as mother-in-law, ruah, 4D, quoted and explained by Jerome, commentary on Isaiah 11, commentary on Isa 40, verse 9. In the Gospel of the Hebrews that the Nazarenes read, it says, Just now, my mother, the Holy Spirit, took me. No one should be offended by this, because spirit, in Hebrew, is feminine, while in our language, Latin, it is masculine, and in Greek, it is neuter, neither masculine nor feminine. In divinity, However, there is no pendia. 4e, quoted and explained by Jerome, commentary on Ezekiel 4, commenting on Ezekiel 16, verse 13. In the book of Judges, we read Deborah, which means bee. Her prophecies are the sweetest honey and refer to the Holy Spirit, who is Gospel of the Hebrews 4e7, called in Hebrew by a feminine noun. In the Gospel of the Hebrews that the Nazarenes read, the Savior indicates this by saying, Just now, my mother, the Holy Spirit, whisked me away. 433d, reported by Didymus. 4th century, commentary on the Psalms, 184, commenting on Psalm 33. Thomas is also called Didymus, and there are many other people with two names. Scripture seems to call Matthew Levi, and in the Gospel of Luke, but they are not the same person. Rather, Matthias, who replaced Judas, and Levi are the same person with a double name. This is apparent in the Gospel of Hebrews, quoted by Clement of Alexandria, 2nd and 3rd century, Miscellanies 2. In the Gospel of Hebrews it is written, Whoever marvels will rule, and whoever rules will rest. 6a, 6b, quoted by Clement of Alexandria, Miscellanies 5. Those who seek should not stop until they find. When they find, they will marvel. When they marvel, they will rule. And when they rule, they will rest. 7. Quoted by Jerome, 4th and 5th century. Commentary on Ephesians 3. Commenting on Ephesians 5, verse 4. We can read in the Hebrew Gospel that the Lord, speaking to his disciples, said, Never be glad except when you look at your brother or sister with love. 5. Matthew 9 verse 9 identifies Levi, the toll collector of Mark. 2 verse 14 with Matthew. The Gospel of Hebrews is unique in identifying Levi with Matthew. The apostle chosen after Jesus' death. Acts 1 
verse 15 through 26. The names Matthew and Matthias are nearly identical in Greek. Matthaios and Matthias. 6. Gospel of Hebrews 6b is the fullest form of this saying found in different versions in Thomas 2 and in Gospel of Thomas 2. Whoever marvels will rule is a concept from the Jewish wisdom tradition. The desire for wisdom leads to ruling. Wisdom 6 verse 20. Rest is salvation. The final attainment in the search for wisdom, as in Matthew 11, verses 28 through 29, and in Thomas 90, see also Sir, chapter 51, verses 26 through 27, and chapter 6, 26 through 28. 7 through 8, brother or sister probably refers to a fellow believer, as in G. Naz 5. And Matthew 18, verse 21 through 22. And Naz 6, brothers and sisters, refers to fellow Jews.